happen. You mean Ben Franklin didn't play the electric guitar? No, he didn't. Electric keyboard? No. Drums? No! But he did do really important experiments with electricity. And he used a kite to show that lightning is a form of electricity. So we lied to these people already? It's not lying. In the theater, we call it dramatic license. The theater? I thought we worked in a power plant. We do. We're always being asked about electricity. So we put together this little musical to inform the public. Oh, so these people aren't actually in our power plant? No, they're the audience. The audience? You mean they pay to see us put on the show? Actually, they pay $5. $5? Well, oh, come on. Let's give them their money's worth. What happens next? Let's watch a demonstration of how the existence of electricity was first discovered way back in ancient Greece. Wow, those guys are really from ancient Greece. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. Dramatic license. Hey, Thales, check this out. What is it, Cynthia? If you rub a piece of amber with a piece of wool, it can pick up stuff. Like what? Like little sticks, feathers, and puss balls. That's fantastic. Isn't it? It's my latest discovery. I call it the vacuum cleaner. Can I try? Sure. Did you see that? What? It gave off a little flash of light. Really? Let me see. No, I want to rub it some more. It's my rock. Give it to me. But I love this rock. Now. Okay, okay. <coughs> wow, it does give off a spark.
They call themselves the cradle of Western civilization. The Greek word for amber is electron. So around 1600, when it came time to name the forces that made things stick to objects like amber, they called it electricity. In the 17th century, some really smart folks figured out that this mysterious thing moved, that it could really sit for certain materials. And here they are.
electricity can be made from wind, water, the sun, and even animal whatever. No, no, the fact kind of stinks. <laughs> well, did you know electricity travels at the speed of light? More than 186,000 miles per second? Hey Kai, what's the electrician's favorite drink? I don't know. Chocolate milk. <laughs> hey, Anna. Hey, Anna, what was the electrical so sad? Why? It had nothing to be positive about. <laughs>
a circuit, causing the electricity to flow through the bird's body. This results in electrocution. That's a shocking fact. Why did the crow sit on the telephone room? Why? He was trying to make a long distance call. What do you call an electrician detective? I don't know, what? Sherlock Holmes. <laughs>
facts and jokes. Did you know that Thomas Edison, the great inventor, came up with more than 2,000 inventions, which include almost everything we need to use in our homes for, including switches, fuses, sockets, and meters. Wow, that's a lot of inventions. It sure is. Did you know that Thomas Edison didn't actually invent the first light bulb? But he did invent one that saved lit more than a few seconds. So I have a question. If you plant a light bulb in the garden, does it grow to a power plant? How <laughs> <laughs> little spark of static electricity can measure up to 3,000 volts? Well, a volt of lightning can measure up to 3 million volts, and it lasts less than one <coughs> second. That reminds me of a joke. What kind of car did an electrician drive? What kind? A Volkswagen. <laughs> The first half of the 19th century was an exciting time for electricity. And do you know what was the key to all the excitement? Super glue. No, not super glue. The thigh master? Would you stop it? The key was the relationship between electricity and magnetism. That was going to be my next guess. It was discovered that a wire with an electric current running through, it acted like a magnet. Then they found that if a copper plate was turned around a magnet, an electric current was produced. So if a steam engine was used to keep the copper plate turning around, electric currents in large amounts could be generated. Then the electric current could be used to turn a wheel. And so, the electric motor was invented. Then, in 1849, in California, the gold rush ushered in the golden age of television. No, it didn't. There were no televisions in the 19th century. And they call it the Industrial Revolution. Hey, here they come. And why do they look, they look so sluggish? Go say hello. Okay. That's a pretty we can't take. Need to plug us in. Excuse me? You heard her. Plug us in.
It's called dramatic license. It means that we can do just about any dumb thing, and you don't have to believe it. We don't want to sing about ourselves. What? You skipped a really revolutionary use of song for electricity in the 19th century. But your television! Without those early discoveries, we may never have been invented. So we're going to honor some of those great inventors. I knew I should have brought in the microwave.
Bruce for short. Okay, here's a fact. Benjamin Franklin didn't discover electricity, but he did prove that lightning is a form of electrical energy. I wanted to tell an electricity joke, but I don't know any that are current. <laughs> I have one. What did the Barefoot Kids get when he stepped on an electrical wire? We I don't know. know. A new pair of shocks.
to do good signs, someone has to dig his lips. It's absolutely shocking, it's just so high. He jumps. Yeah.